time ago that when you sit in the bath and you let all the water go out, you can feel it going down your body and down the plug hole. It's supposed to take all that negative stress and energy away with you down the plug hole. So you've got to sit here and it sucks everything out. You've got to remember, don't sit over the plug hole because that's uncomfortable. But sitting in the bulk of the water as it's slowly, which it is now, slowly going down your feet and almost empty is good for you. Shame we don't believe in any of that crap. The only thing that I do know it gets rid of the water, that's the only thing I can possibly guarantee. Finally, I'm reunited with my beautiful Albanian. Are you making your breakfast, baby? Yes. Is that Al Albanian special? Yeah, dog food. Poor. All they, all they do is put a crust over it, put it in the oven for 10 minutes, and then that's it, Albanian special. Oh, this is Sheffield's food. <laughs> They call it a pie. Yeah. I hope you don't mind seeing the same shots over and over again. But I like to return back to London. And even though it's up in the morning, it's laid in bed, listening to audiobooks, waiting for his beautiful blonde boyfriend to come and give him some attention. Aren't you? I'm just sleeping. You know I'm going to work all day. Ow! <laughs> dog's just fought her. Please, can I please go away? Please. Just give me some love. Jacob. I'm actually preparing some food for Dan and myself. And it's some chicken breast and I sliced it in half like that and I put olive um, olive oil and butter and parsley, garlic, salt and pepper in the pan and I'm frying the chicken slowly with some blue cheese on top. And I've prepared it just with a little salad for my little Albanian boyfriend. So miserable. Oh, no, that's why you're making a scene. You want a reaction. Yeah, but you, you don't say that you don't want food. I'm making nice food. I'm sleeping. You're always sleeping. I'm not creating arguments. It's like I don't know anybody else who has food made for him, and then he's like, I don't want it. I don't want it. He's gonna fucking eat it. It's gonna be beautiful. What are you doing? I've just made your food. Don't eat. Looks very cheeto. It is keto. Bread. No bread. Try the chicken. Whether I should have or not, I decided this afternoon I'm going to take the whole time off, the whole afternoon off. I did my vlog this morning. Olaf has taken Jack out. Daniel's gone to work. So it's like I've got the flat by myself. I'm by myself. I'm chilling. But I'm hungry. There's no food in the fridge. It's pretty pathetic. I mean, Apart from making that food this morning, there is nothing. Look, that's the stew from the caravan. Then water, tomato sauce, no milk. I've left a tiny little bit of emergency milk that's there. And then look, what am I gonna do? Cheese. Oh, this cheese. I've only got Daniel for a few hours today, but he's helping me, aren't you, baby? Yes, I'm feeding the dog. Oh, your nipples are big. I mean, it smells like dog food. I'm feeding the dog. Why are you smelling my nipples and think these dog food? Oh, I don't know. Your nipples might smell like dog food. I don't know. I'll never get near them. Still got computer problems. Daniel was helping me for a few hours and he couldn't fix it, but it kind of fixed itself. But I've just got lots of stuff to do before Anna comes tomorrow, just like prepping and that. But all this morning I was doing photo editing. But I can't show the photos because they were kind of risque. Dirty photo. Well, not really dirty. Everybody's covered up, but they were still a bit sexy. It wasn't me, by the way. I've had a really stressy day today and I wasn't going to work the full eight hours, but I ended up ooh, doing it. And then Sharon was on the phone because I did a bit of work for Sharon. And she said, go out, get out. So I didn't take the dog yet. So I'm going to go out and I'm just going to sit in the park, throw the ball for the dog and chill. I know that I've just come back from the caravan and I really shouldn't be planning on going so soon, but I paid for it. And it's like the caravan's there and it's not being used. So I think I've spoken to Sarah and Sarah might be coming with me on Friday, maybe Thursday or something like that. Back to Devon, what's Devon? I was on the phone to Rowena yesterday and she gave me some really good news for herself. She actually found this beautiful place to live in, in Windsor and it's stunning, it's so nice. And I'm gonna give a few bits of bumps like paint. Hello. Oh, hello. hello. Posh country girl. I'm a Windsor girl now, Barcha, hello. 
<laughs> it's not very often that I see her at this time because last time she had nails on and Jack broke the nail. And I had no nails for her to break, but she's determined to break my nose instead of that fat hard head of hers. <laughs> which I remember what that felt like, Jack, even when he was a puppy and you nearly knocked me out on my bike when <laughs> somebody pushed me off. Oh! <laughs> I love that video. <laughs> <laughs> I actually gave her, um, we got this continental quilt which we bleached, so we put downstairs, cleaned it completely, but I put it down because she's got a bed which I'm going to sleep on when I get there. I want to make sure she's got some bed in. Yes. She's got the most amazing place, but I can't wait to show you. I'm dying to go around oh, there. Absolutely brilliant. It is amazing. Hi. It really is so posh. Hi. It really is. Hi. Okay. She just invited me around to her house. Yes. And I'm gonna come around and see the horse and see the house. I'm really looking forward to yeah, it, actually. Yeah, that's it, come and play farmer. I'd like to, actually. Yeah, come, we can go out on a hack or yeah. do something. I want to introduce, I, I don't know how she is with dogs, but she's actually good, will be good running with the with horses. Yeah, so if. she'll run alongside them, and they're fine. As long as she doesn't run by their legs. Exactly, that's what I'm a bit worried about. I'd need to train her just to... Just beside them, and then they'd yeah. be absolutely fine. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, somebody's ready for bed. Are you comfortable, Jack? Are you comfortable, Jack? Just Jack, what a treat. <laughs> yes. She still doesn't move, just like, just stay there, Jack. I'll go and get it and bring it to you. <laughs> oh, it was so nice to see you, Rowena. It's been such a long time, and I'm really looking forward to seeing her at her place but what she probably doesn't realize is i haven't been riding for such a long time i mean since i was a kid so i'm a bit nervous i mean i'm sure i'll be all right but horses are quite high i stink i'm gonna go to bed good night i've just gone really tired oh well, that's woke me up jack's having a big shit that's nice I've missed Anna. Huh? I've missed Anna. Thank you. Yeah. Over the past couple of days, I was like, oh, I'm so, I was, I was like, I feel so alone. And I'm like, not motivated. And she's changed places as well. So now she's looking out the window today. That's because her computer's knackered. So I've got to sort it out. I think I've done. We stayed an hour longer while I'm Nine hours minus ten minutes. Anna's still gonna do another hour, which is cool. But I'm gonna take the dog down right now because she needs to go downstairs. And Daniel's an hour. He just left me. He's gone. He's like he's going somewhere nice tonight with his friend. Just leave me here, why don't he? Well, I think my masking problems are all done, all solved. I can, I can go out and wear my mask and. It just uh, even look good looking in this mask. Look at that. John got it for me online. I did it. www.bins.com. <laughs> look at this. I swear this guy doesn't need the money. There's a washing car, the washing machine. There's a tenner. Look at that. Every time you wash his stuff, there's money coming out of the. He's gonna lose you all. <laughs> well, I'm all set to go out. I have my oh, face ooh, covering. The bloody glasses again. And I'm leaving him to work because he's gonna make me rich. <laughs> and obviously, Anna is gonna make us both rich. She's on camera. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a really nice oh, night. Oh, 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 Look at this, too. <laughs> That's Tony's girlfriend, by the way. Oh, yeah, they're they trying for a child. Oh, this is Soho now on Saturday night. And it's jam packed. <laughs> Corona what? <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, we have managed to find a table. <laughs> Yes. But we don't know which kind of food is it. She's yeah. really hungry. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing Portuguese. Okay, we're gonna have Portuguese yes. food. Well, I, was, I think Spanish. Spanish? 
This is the menu. Mm -hmm. And it looks like a... Spanish. Yes. Because I'm much talk about But now we are fed and uh, we're just having like an intense conversation about men and relationships. So now we're just gonna have to pay the bill and <laughs> and go somewhere. <laughs> just go somewhere that we can just flirt with everybody. I think we are off to another gay bar because we don't come out enough in Soho so the girls are coming look at the girls the girls are coming Albanian Mafia. Well, we can't find anywhere to go and drink. So now we're gonna be drinking on the street. <laughs> and my new girlfriend, she's Albanian after all this, but mama said, you go for an Albanian girl. So we are in Freedom Bar. Yeah. But they do table service. No table dancing, table service. And I thought I'm gonna use the pole, but no pole dancing for me. So, yeah. I was looking forward to come to Freedom Bar just because of the dancing and I forgot that there's no dancing or anything like that. So now everybody's sitting down and it just doesn't feel the same. So maybe I'll come back when the dancing starts. Cheers to Albania Night Island. This place is full of young people. I swear they're like under 20 five all of them I feel so old oh, I'm being abused by this gay boy oh my goodness what's this place guy you guys have been. Where are we? Hey, where are you guys? Where are we going? So, we had the best night ever from the Albania Mafia. We are here, we are here. We are here to be here. Alexander. Alexander McQueen, Dolce Gabbana, and Versace. And it's I'm just, you. I'm primal, baby! <laughs> I'm sorry! Well, the train is approaching, thank God, because this place looks so sad. I haven't taken the, the tube for a long, long time, but it's, it's full of sad people. They just, I, I just, I can't deal with it. I'm gonna put my mask on and just be quiet. The mask is gone. So now I just have to be on the bus. And no more mask. I can't stand it, really. Do I look cute from this angle? <laughs> Do I look frumpy from this angle? I think, what's the best angle for me? I reckon it's like, he's always from above. And I still don't understand those people who take the camera and do the face calls and they're like, yeah, you're all right. Yeah, <laughs> so I was thinking about, um, Going out today if you want to join me. You don't do that, you've got to go like that. Yes. I was thinking about going out today if you'd like to join me. That's what you've got to do, you kind of got to do it because it makes your head look slimmer, you can't see all your seven chins, and then look, it makes your chest look a little bit bigger. Come on, guys, let's get it together. FaceTime etiquette, that's what it's called. Daniel made me take him to work this morning. Well, I'm about to take him to work. Because I was trying to put the videos in the computer so that I can edit today, like get it over and done with early. And his phone's so like big, full of photos that it took ages. And he said, no, you have to take me to work. So where's your bag? He's left it at work. You look like one of the Blues Brothers. He was actually Albanian. Is it, is it, is it James Belushi or the other one? I never saw it. The one with the hat? I never saw it. 
This is the morning after the night before, and I feel like shit. Do you? No. Do I? Nobody knows. Apart from sat in traffic this morning, I had a lot more planned. It's your fault. It's not my fault. For because offering. I didn't offer. You said you'd take me to work, man. I, like, it's I've it's got to one thing he does every year for me. He takes me to work when I go out because I don't want to ride the bike. So he's going to have left the bike, Daniel, there. I don't know why you left it. Because I was lazy to get the bus yesterday. What does that even mean? I was lazy to get it the means bus. I went to Sherpa's bush on the bike. Anyhow. Ah, you, oh, you went last night. I see, okay. Anyhow, it's like it's a beautiful morning and we're doing things together. Like he says, let's do things together. I want to take the dog out, have a bath, and then do the editing. That's all I want to do today. That's my plan. I, I know he's just going to go to bed. I, I know. Swear. I was up at seven and I went back to bed. My laying was half past nine. That was it. He just complains too much. Hurry up, green light. She's sending me work up to do. She said, Can you print this off? I'm like, But alcoholics, and they, that's the thing, you get to be an alcoholic and you can't do anything. I'm not alcoholic. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate your work. I didn't think I'd actually complete it because I wasn't feeling it, but I finished the vlog early, so that's all done. That I'll be prepared. All Finished for you for Thursday at six o'clock, which is great. And um, that's the, <laughs> like two weeks ago on. Um, anywho. And I am restarting, reinstalling. Um, this is Yosemite. Yosemite? So, Yosemite, this is a really old operating system. That's what was on this computer when it was first bought. But it's going to take another 15 hours for me to upload this and to fix it. So, I'm doing two jobs, but it's early. Meaning, well, it's not, it's like half past two. But it means that I'm going to have half a day off. So, I'm not going to think about anything now. I'm going to lay in bed. So I think I've done all right because this week is, um, I mean, I haven't had Saturday or Sunday off. I was working yesterday. I'm just moaning. It's like, I'm so hard done by, aren't I? <laughs> just shut up, John. Moany bitch. I went eight shit at Daniel because he brought in two bags of these big crisps. And I said, look, don't bring them to the house. Hide them. Otherwise, I'll eat them. And then I said, you know what? You haven't opened one of them. <laughs> Love it, don't know. If, um, if you don't open it, I won't eat it anyway. And I did, so I'm gonna go to the shop and replace it so he doesn't find out. Hopefully, hopefully he doesn't see this vlog, I'm sure he will do. But at least it'll give me a bit of a cover for a couple of weeks. <laughs> they don't have the same flavor. What I'm gonna do? Well, I wanna get these hot chicken wings. It's the same kind of bag. See what he says, he probably will do. Then you said he was gonna be back earlier tonight. Around eight o'clock, and it is eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. Daniel did say he was going to be back early tonight, but well, early, about eight o'clock. Daniel's just heard his bike come up. Oh my god! Yes? It's Can good. I help? Wait, you don't answer the text, but you. I did, I answered the text. Hi. No, I didn't. I said more than that when you said it. Miss Bucket. That's it? Good night. Good morning. I'm tired this morning. Actually, I'm not that bad. Daniel's upstairs, just waiting to get up. We've got like 15 minutes before he starts working at nine o'clock. I'm always nervous to wake him up because he was working yesterday. He was working all week. So hopefully when I do get up, he's not gonna scream at me. Jack, baby, it's time to get up. It's 9.46, you've got 10 minutes to get a drink and get ready on it. Sorry? No, no, because no, that's not fair. No. Come on, I, I'm not gonna go through this all the time with you, please. You, you get up, you just finish your work at five and that's it. Come on, it's not fair. Every time we go through this and you say we don't, but we do. Please, come on. I shouldn't have to go through this every day, I shouldn't. Oh my God. 
we've done so much today. It's like tap, 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 tap. It's like, oh, down the keyboard, both Daniel and I, we've got through so much today. Uh, you know, it just feels like this work never ends. I mean, we, we have like projects in our work schedule, like we've got clients what we have to chase, clean up the database, which we've had for such a long time. Um, and get it all up to scratch so we can make sure that our particular company in this particular industry, which we're focusing on, is perfect. And then we move over to America, even though we've already started America. Um, but we still haven't done yet. Daniel's downstairs with the dog at the moment. And I'm going to put on, look, Demolition Man. I love these old 80s movies, 80s movies. I uh, need to get some more you know but i love it when they come on netflix because they're kind of like retro and you can chill with them which is what i'm going to do now but my eyes are stinging and i feel like i'd be sick if i had a drink but i would like to have the effects of alcohol i should just inject it i'm tired as well daniel but i'm gonna watch going there and continue watching my movie instead of staying here laying down with you we, we always make sure that to have a healthy relationship, one of us stays away from each other. <laughs> as often and as long as possible. <laughs> that, is the, the, that is how healthy relationship works. We only meet for sex by appointment. Yeah. <laughs> if Simon's free. Who's Simon? <laughs> he's, not, he's not called Simon, John. Is he called? I don't know. Oh, you stink. Oh, don't hurt me. Don't say that that stink. You do. I was going to say that aftershave, what you bought. I can smell it. That costs 45 pounds. Honestly, this aftershave, what he's got, it's really nice. What's it called? Coco de, I don't know. Coco de Albania. <laughs> the nut, the nut? Do, yeah, do, Coco de <laughs> Albania's nut. <laughs> anyway, just go Everything away. smells like it now. But it's really strong, it is nice. Anyway. Is it nice? You just say it's not nice. I say it stinks, I say it's strong. That could mean anything. This is the first time that Jack goes on the bus and she's she's going to the room. <laughs> it's like full of unfriendly people, isn't it? You must wear face covering at all times when using public transport unless you are exempt. I am exempt. Jack has no table manners, look at that. She doesn't want to sit down at all. I don't know where she's going now. We are so boring that we are at work today just for a beer and Jack is many and make it to a new friend and she's gonna have a little present from Juliana. What's this? Oh, 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 oh. You don't want it? <laughs> What's this? Mm. You don't want it? You don't want it? We had a nice time in Westfield. Met so many new people. And now we are going home. But we're not going to walk like, like last time because my foot is going to kill me. <laughs> we're just going to take the bus. It's empty, by the way. It's just us. She's going to bed. She's so tired. Look at the, look at the, the look at her face. I'm trying to sleep. It's been late in bed, watching crappy YouTube videos over and over. And oh, it's me or the dog. I like watching that. And I've been trying to get rid of my wrinkles. Look so at my forehead. Happen, Daniel, no matter how much you try, you're never gonna get rid of those. Oh, it's me. <laughs> anyway, good night. Good night. See you in the morning. This Albanian is so annoying. I'm like, see, don't tell me what to do. I'm doing my own way, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> He's doing it around, there's like three mistakes on one account. And it's like, oh, but you don't train me enough. I'm like, well, if you do want to do it your own way and you're all good, but then I don't train you enough. Have, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, but I don't have anybody, because he all used back with me. I'm like, there's three mistakes on one particular account. It wasn't me. I've it just doesn't matter. You're saying that you know what it is. It was duplicate one. Okay, one duplicate account. What he was trying to sort out. Fair enough. But then I was the one who caught the duplicate. That's account. That's fine, Daniel. But you said you already did it yesterday. That's the thing. And then there was like tasks marked off done when they haven't even been done. Like people to pay money to mark them done. And then he said, "Don't tell me what to do." I don't want to work with you. 
I tell you something, if he carries on like this, I'm just gonna get somebody else in. I want him to work, but he can't be cocky because it's not about me and him, it's about the millionaire, which I'm gonna be when I'm a successful businesswoman. This is the state of things right now. That's my chair, it's done, I finished. Daniel's just finished off talking to somebody about this database that we've got, because um, it's crashed in that computer what I tried to fix. I think Daniel says he's going to take... Are you going, I, to, are you going to take her out, did you say? I, I'm trying to focus, are you talking? I better shut the fuck up, babe. Always talking. and peace and quiet working with John is like it's so intense seriously I, I don't work with your partner everything becomes so personal so now I'm just outside in the graveyard just chilling and staying away from him for a little bit <laughs> oh I used to work with him eight years ago and I stopped because I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't deal with his voice. <laughs> it's so annoying. So now, well, I, now things are more serious, so I have to be more serious. But still, it's so annoying. He thinks he knows everything, which is not true. And if he makes a mistake, he never apologizes. On the other hand, I'm always apologizing for my mistakes. <laughs> You need to buy different types of food. It stinks. Eat. Do you haven't eaten all night? I don't want to eat that. So, you always different food so she gets used to she it. She's got some dry food as well. You like dry food? Oh, my you God, look at that. Look at that. Look at this. You have the biggest eyebrow hair. Take it off. Take it off. No, I just want to take the piss. No, eat. take it off. Pull it out. Pull it out. I have wet hair. Oh my god, it's like it's like your cock left long. <laughs> that was huge. <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna go to bed. That was huge. <laughs> Ow, stop hitting me. Why are you so violent? Good night, Daniel. Good night. <laughs> yeah, we bought one of those shop bought pizzas yesterday, and all this morning my stomach has been like a soapy washing machine. He's been to the <laughs> toilet about 20 million times, and so have I. It's Don't really for bad. yourself. Yeah, I... Daniel, last night it, it was disgusting. I have a twice. Ah, you can't have balls. You get to a certain age, you have chilies, and they just like drop out of your certain arse. Certain age, we're not like 60. Yeah, I know, but we're still over 40. I'm not. You are over 40, he's over 40. I am 25. Yeah, 25. <laughs> 25 wrinkles in his forehead. Whoever said beauty is pain, they are not far wrong. I've just got this shit in my eyeball, trying to do my bottom lid. I did so careful with my bottom eyelashes. Oh my God, it keeps washing out. I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, the things we do. Ah. I'm supposed to be meeting my friend today. Lorry, or truck for short. <laughs> short wheelbase. Anyway, she's, so she hasn't called me yet. She's gone to meet a friend of hers and um, Dalma just called me. They want to take the dog out. And I'm gonna get my hair finished with my hairdresser who's got the biggest penis ever, as you can see. He's always showing it off. See, when you come in, the first thing what he does, he gives you the mask and then he takes out his knob. It's completely true. But never lie. Oh my God. I hope she's all right. Literally opened the door and the girl went smack bang into the door. For always gotta look for cyclists. I know that drivers don't particularly like cyclists, but you know, you don't really want to damage your car. <laughs> I'm a cyclist as well, but I won't want to damage my car either. This is this is your first latte ever that has a pattern. That, that's a good latte. Congratulations. You got the star. Here goes star. This is six o'clock on a Wednesday evening and it's so quiet, it's unbelievable. Last Wednesday it was yep. packed and now it's just me and Alex are left in the restaurant. Yeah, we're having a party. Yeah. Well, I've done now. My hair's done. 
my eyebrows and my eyelashes and because there's any difference it just makes me look a little bit more because they're so blonde you can't see that I've got eyebrows and because I'm getting older thank you bye I'm getting those old men eyebrow hairs what are coming out like crazy I'm going to see my friend Laurie who I haven't seen since March since just about the lockdown so she's moved and I'm gonna go and have a coffee why not it's been since you look amazing. She's like, oh, I'm getting my changes on. It looks amazing, this place. She's moved. <laughs> she moved in recently, and it's like this is like a high-rise building. Well, it's not that high-rise in the middle of Putney, but look at this amazing view which she's got, all looking over Putney, and that beautiful sunset. sunset. You got it's a bit bright, but it is amazing. Is that a one? one bedroom flat. Look. And you come straight out from the balcony and she's made it all around and she's made a little touches i'm going to show you her boudoir because she's got this really nice bedroom look look how beautiful it is so you know this one who likes to wear the nice trousers she's making me again so i'm gonna order pizza and i can't i mean i'm just oh, and pizza it's, you see, it's carbohydrate again. Double carbs. It's so bad. I mean, how can you possibly even think to lose weight? You know what? It's fine. Just don't eat tomorrow. Oh. What is that? I love it. <laughs> Look at those carbs. Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> they have some hum. Can you see? I thought you didn't eat ham. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't know. So this is to help you lose weight? No. <laughs> this is keto. <laughs> but we're drinking water. Yeah. We've got keto pizza. <laughs> We've keto pasta. Keto pasta. What the fuck is this? It's delicious. That? Delicious. That is nice though. Mmm. Chicken. Mmm. It's a chicken. And she's a vegetarian and there's ham on that pizza. It's <laughs> like... <laughs> The vegetarian only in the weekend. Yeah, and she hates tattoos. Oh, I have nightmares. Little <laughs> <laughs> video. Mm. I hate lesbians, I'm going. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> I love Laurie, she's really nice, but she made me fucking pizza and pasta. Oh, after the caravan tomorrow, I'm going by myself actually. Sarah was supposed to be coming with me, but she's got the builders in on Friday. So I'm gonna go over on, well, gonna go over tomorrow, and Sharon's joining me in the caravan. So even though she lives like the next town away, she's gonna come for a camping holiday with me, but I'm gonna be there on Thursday by myself, and then she'll come on Friday. It's gonna be fun. Go bike riding, we'll do something exciting. Pate, you'll enjoy it. Mmm. Just burp and eat at the same time. <laughs> Popped to the shop earlier to get myself something to eat, and <laughs> I looked all around. I popped to the shop to get something to eat, and I was looking all around for stuff. And then eventually I went to the discounted, you know, the little section where you get all the discounted food. And I found pate for 50 pence. I found some ham for 40 pence. Look at this. <gasps> I've been ripped off, I thought it was 40, it's two pound 40. Not happy now. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. I've eaten a lot today. Oh, and a pork pie. I'll make sure I get the price right on this one. That was 41 pence. Back in the caravan tomorrow for a little weekend. I'm really excited. But guys, it's the end of the week. So for now, I'm going to say thank you for watching. If you watched it this far, all the way to the end. And I will see you next week on Thursday, 6 o'clock. Good night.